Hi YouTube, welcome to all my videos. I haven't done one for a little while because I've been a bit busy doing bits and pieces. Um, in the evening times when it's a bit cold working on the shed and stuff, I've been home making some model station engines. Um, I've shown you before the buzzer cop. I made that blue one. It took about five hours to make that one. All made out of card, paper clips, um, cocktail sticks with the oil, a bit of gold, sort of coloured card, and black card and blue card. Printed off the logo, cut out and stick it on. Do the pinstriping by uh, with pen by hand. But these are no kits now, these are actually all made from scratch. Just take a picture of an engine you like or print one off. And just sit down for a few hours and concentrate and try to get your measurements right. So that's one I showed you before. I made a little um, international tom thumb, what I think they call them. I put the solid flywheels on it instead of spoked. That one probably took about 20 minutes to make. But again, that was card, cocktail sticks, uh, paper clips, all sorts like that. So that's that little one. This one I've just made up my own design for it. You might look like a certain engine. There ain't much difference between them all really, but I just thought of this one. I thought I like that sort of colour card, so I made one out of that. Again, that one probably took well, probably about a couple of hours to make that one that night. A couple of nights ago, I done that one. Um, another one I made up by scratch, my own design again. I thought I'd make it a narrow one. As you can see, it's not even the thickness of my finger. Um, yeah, I thought I'd just make that one up. So, again, that one probably took about an hour and a half to make that one. This one's based on a um, Hercules engine. But I haven't got around to sticking the logos and nothing on it yet. Um, all that card again, and paper clips. None of these are. Uh, a, a kit, if you know what I mean. Um, so I've got finishing it off still, so a few little bits of detail to do on it. This one I've made from scratch from my own design again. Um, I made like a water cool one, fuel tank on the side. You've also got your flywheel, your water pipe going along the top for the return of the tank. I put all the mag and that this side. The moving linkages are down here. Little spark plug just above my finger there. The governor weights are there. You've got your crank and everything in it. I don't know why you can see that. And the trolley's made up with like a sort of plate on it. So that's another made up. This one's a Full and Johnson. Well, I meant to say that one probably took about five hours to make again, like the buzzer cop. The next one to look at now is the Fuller and Johnson NC hit and miss one. This one I did make because I got one hit and miss and you can turn the crank, the flywheel, and you can see the cornwood move. So you go around. I couldn't make push rods moving that because they're too small for detailing. You can see by my hand. Even if I put a computer mouse beside it, that's your average sort of size computer mouse. That one probably took a couple hours to make. This one is an Edwards twin engine. Um, chap I know had a couple, or got a couple of them. I took a bit of a shine to it. I thought I always wanted to make one because they're very awkward shape to make, so I've made it the best I can. Um, again, your little mag there, with your push rods, got your spark plug up with some of the thumb there, twin exhaust on it. Your carburetor's the side, fuel line goes up into the tank there, pulley on there. That one probably took about four hours to make. This one's a witty hit miss. Um, I made a couple of these, I made one for my um, one of mates in the rally field and he had it. Um, that one took probably about five hours because I made both at the same time where I cut one out and I cut the other one out and just gradually made both. The oiler on this one I made out of like a clear plastic pen I cut it down and stuck it on. You've got your con rods now again. 
that's your buzz box coil on that fuel tank exhaust is there to see the spark plug above my finger got your like drain taps on the side of the engine that was quite a delicate one that is last one is a Ruston engine um, I based it on the 8 horsepower ones or the 10 horse I think I can't remember what they are now are they APs or something I think um, a bit annoyed my flywheel I couldn't find a big enough circle even when I made flywheels and they're a bit too small for the scale so I will make new ones for them but you've got your Wiker mag and all your linkages down the side your governor house at the front and carburetor there uh, fuel lines and obviously the valve push rods exhaust again all the sun is, it's all done with pen by freehand so I thought I'd show you all of my models there's one more here I'll show you but this is totally the most wackiest one I've made yet uh, all by my own design again single flywheel poly on this side uh, different push rod mechanism um, you got your valve pushers there and the, uh, and the valve guides and everything there I've made the hopper different so this is your brass plate on top and you can see the size of the hopper sloped down each side like a diamond shape in there I well, we can see that but again I just made that all up my own that only probably took about 20 minutes or so it's literally just whack it all together or off cuts of card that I had and your carburetors and that so that's totally a wacky one just quickly designed to my head so I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of them I've made so I'm gonna put them away mate and um I will make another video again of uh, another update of my shed soon hopefully I been so busy at the minute I don't know I've been coming or going or going or coming uh, so thank you for watching this video and join me again for another one thank you bye